Pension funds are calling on county governments to enroll their workforce with pensions. Jose Akili, the CEO of County Pension Fund, CPF, says the pensioners are engaging counties on the issue since most county workers have not been saving for retirement. The huge unremitted pension scheme members' contribution, which currently stands at that 2 billion shillings accrued from the former local authorities to present county governments, remains the biggest concern as counties have been urged to settle the deals. Already, some pensions have offered a 10% waivers to encourage commitment to defaulters to settle the accrued amount in the next six months. Any county which signs a debt repayment agreement with us, with CPF, will be immediately receiving a 10% disc waiver of the interest which has accumulated. Those counties who manage to clear their whole debt in one bullet, we will give them or allow them to enjoy 30% waiver of the interest. Nyeri, Bungoma, Kekamega, Tana River, Nyandarwa and Trukana are the counties said to have complied with pensions, remittances and cleared their dues. Kili wants counties that all pension schemes to comply. All debts for pension should be cleared within the next two years. So we are hopeful that there will be a lot of compliance as we go along this year. The Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee plans to convene county secretary meetings to deliberate on issues that affect devolution, such as pending bills. We are also putting them to speed in the progress we have made on all implementation of summit resolutions. Um, and the debt situation, uh, the pending debt situation in the counties, and the progress that has been realized since the last IBEC. Andrew Carroll, for Lunchtime News.